G'day. Bit of an impromptu trip today. I was watching the weather the last few days and it started looking good. So I ran out of work late this afternoon and sort of um, last minute decision, I'm gonna come out here and stay the night. Um, by the time I got home from work, drove to where I was going, launched the boat and got on the water, the sea breeze has sort of come in and it's come from the south a little bit. Um, not what was forecast, but it's manageable and um, I'm hoping it's gonna drop out a bit later on. So the plan is I'm gonna fish until sunset and then I'm gonna go and tuck in on the coast somewhere and stay the night out on the boat and um, fish again tomorrow morning on the sunrise. So that's my plan overnight. I'm not gonna pretend that this is some sort of a survival mission and I need to um, catch a fish to survive because that's not the case at all. Um, in a way, it kind of is a survival thing because originally I was gonna bring my gas burner and everything else and then halfway on the drive, I realized I'd left my gas burner sitting next to the shed and I haven't got my gas burner. So that's no coffee this tomorrow morning and uh, also no fish for dinner tonight. So I'll do the next best thing and I'll stop and I'll show you what I got here. I've got a sausage roll and a cream donut. So that's the grand sum of my food for today. Um, for tonight, that's my dinner, a sausage roll and a cream donut. And I bought an iced coffee because I know I'm gonna want a coffee in the morning and now I can't cook one up because I didn't bring my gas burner, but so be it. So the plan is I'm gonna get out here, get anchored up, fish the sunset, Ugh. sorry, fish the sunset, see if I can't get a good pinky or something on, and then I'm gonna go and tuck it on the coast somewhere, and hopefully this breeze drops out and I'll have a comfortable night's sleep, otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a um, rough night's sleep. Uh, you only can only play the cards that you dealt, and yeah, I got jeep because the forecast was saying really good, and then when I saw this southerly, I was really disappointed, but I was already committed, I'd already driven far enough, I had to stick it out, so. Anyway, let's get out there and get fishing. I'll show you what I'm going to park on when I get out there. All right, so a bit of fluff there. I'm hoping to anchor up near there. That's my anchor going down now. Um, 17 meters and just back over here, it ran up to 14. So sort of some hard looking bottom here with a bit of bait holding. That's it. I'm not getting too fussy tonight because I'm um, yeah, really just going to put in probably an hour. Like I left my run super late. By the time I finished work and got everything else sorted, it was a bit super late. So probably only got an hour till this sun goes down anyway. But it's all right. It's all part of the adventure. Um, I've got my big healthy diet here to keep me company. So just let a bit more anchor rope out because she's a bit sloppy here from the southwest. Of course. But once I'm anchored, it should be okay. All right, let's get started. As usual, got yourself a dirty birdie log. That'll go straight into the pot. Um, that just does its own thing. You don't have to worry about that. They just sort of trickle away and barely just trickles out slowly as it should. Um, I've got muleys. I've got a heap of fresh muleys here and I've also got some scalers here defrosting. Um, I don't know how long they're gonna take to defrost. I might have to pull a couple out, stick them in the water. First bait out. Wow. Didn't have to be this way, wind, it really didn't. Bloody southerly, it was forecast to be absolutely spectacular this afternoon. And as per usual, it's not. We'll make it work one way or another. Um, if it's really ugly later on, I might park it out and run back to the ramp, uh, run back to the car and sleep the night in the car park. Um, we'll just see how it pans out. Because it's going to be kind of uncomfortable anchored up in this overnight, but we'll see. It might come better, it might come good. And... All right, I've just figured out what's going on here. It's that really shit, oh hang on, I'm getting some bites here. It's that really shitty situation where the wind's blowing me this way and the current's going that way. So everything's going towards the front of the boat. So all my barely's running forwards. I've got a hook up here though, I think. Oh, something was definitely having a look at that. So all my baits are going that way. So I might only be able to fish with one rod and have to fish out the side here. Something's having a nib here. I'm getting some nibs. I reckon he's got my bait. 
Yeah, it's a shit situation when that happens, but there's a really strong northerly current ripping everything that way. And of course, with a southerly wind, the boat's facing this way. Awkward to fish. Manageable if you're on your own, which luckily I am today. So what I'm gonna do is pull in that soft plastic and just concentrate on this one. Now I figured it out. Might be in with half a chance because all my burley's going forwards. All my burley's going that way and I'm casting out the back here into nothing. So this cast, I'll whack out this way and I reckon that might have a whole different outcome. This one here has got weight on it so I'm going to just actually wind it up and drop it out on the other side. So lucky I'm by myself and I can just fish out of this corner. I mean, if there was someone else with me, it'd be awkward because you can only really fish one person when the condition's like this. Well, that's getting touched. Look at that. Almost instantly. Because I cast it out there where the barely's going. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? That's wrapped around something. Oh, here we go. Fish on, on the side here. There you go, first cast out to the side. Like I said, the current was going that way. First cast I'll put out that side has got hit straight away. It actually feels like a heavy fish. It hasn't run yet, but it feels heavy. Oh, I don't think it's realized it's hooked yet. It was quite strange actually. What is this? It's just pulsing. It's really weird. It's going forwards, it's using the current to its advantage and going that way. Exactly where I don't really want it to go. Oh, now it's on the anchor rope. That's good. Oh, it's on the anchor rope. Great, great, great. I'm going to have to go up the front here and try to tackle this. That's, that's kind of chaotic, Scott. Not the ideal situation, but I think we got it free, the anchor rope. Oh, and now it's going back under it again. I'm calling this for a Samson fish because this is classic Samson fish tactics. Straight onto the anchor rope. Playing dirty, dirty pull. Nah, come here. Oh, I can just feel it rubbing and rubbing. Oh, I just, nah, he's gone. I just saw him then. I think pretty sure that was a Samson fish. And there is one of the downsides. That's one of the downsides to when the current's going forward because they're already over there and it's just like a simple run to your anchor rope and then I just got stitched. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Anyway, I've got one here re rigged, ready to go. So I'll get this one out. Quickly. And try to re-rig that one. Gah! That was a Samson fish. I'm almost, oh, I don't know. 
I'm not even going to try to call it. I've been making some really shit calls lately and I'm not even going to try to call it. But that was pretty much classic Samson fish tactics. Straight to the anchor rope and around and around we go. And look at that, got my leader and everything back. It's just busted me off. On the upside, because I've got my lead and everything back, it's quick to rig back up again. So I've got this one ready. I'm going to put half a scaly on this one. And that one's ready to go. When I pull this other one back in, I'll stick out my half scaly. That's not exactly how I was hoping that was going to go, but that's fishing. You don't win them all. Oh, and we're in over here. What's that? Yep, another fish on. Oh. This one feels like a snapper. It's a manageable size, this one. The other one just felt big and heavy. Oh, the anti-reverse on this reel. Stupid me. Oiled up this reel and put a lot of oil on everything, greased it up, and little did I know, you're not supposed to oil the anti-reverse. And because of that, now every now and then the anti-reverse is slipping. There you go, little spiky boy, he can go back. Oh, that was a hit. Hits. Here we go. All right. Please don't go to the anchor rope this time. Whatever this one is. Let's go. It's a heavy fish. It's got some weight to it. Hopefully this is the one I came for. Oh, it's going up forward again. Don't go that way. Come back here, please. Come back here. Oh, it's coming back. I feel like this one might be a snapper. This one, it feels heavy, but it's actually controllable. It's not, it's got those big angry head shakes of a snapper. I'm really disappointed about this wind, eh? I've been looking forward to this all day. I was watching the forecast going, yep, it's going to be nice. Oh, goodness. Okay. That was very unsnapper-like, unless it's really big. Let's see if I can get a look at it first. Solid run. Yeah, I was looking forward to it. A nice night out. Unfortunately, the coastline is just so exposed here and there's no islands or anything to hide behind. So when the breeze goes like this, it's really hard to sleep out the night. Like you can do it, but it's gonna be really uncomfortable and I'm not gonna sleep. It's not gonna be very nice. We'll see what happens. I'll give it another half an hour or so until it gets dark. It might drop out. If it doesn't, I think I'll just go back to the beach, put the boat on the trailer, oh, and just spend the night in the trailer, and then come back out first thing in the morning. Hopefully, the wind's a bit nicer in the morning. It is forecast to be, but as has happened tonight, oh, yeah, more and more I'm going, not snapper. Good fish, whatever it is. I haven't really had a look at it yet. Oh, I saw a bit of colour there. I think it's a yellow tail king. Yeah, it's a king. Oh, it's 
Scott, you idiot. I just had it in the net and then let it let it go. There's one thing I know about kings is you haven't got them until they're in the net. And even then they can jump out. They're feisty little critters, these guys. Okay, got him. Oh, here's a good fish. I wonder if that's what stitched me up before, potentially. It was one of the Seriola clan. Potentially it was one of these guys that stitched me up earlier. Nice fish all the same. Ew. Pretty happy with him. All right, this guy can go back. Yep. Um, they gotta be eating really fresh kings. And while I do have a lot of ice, I've got my three logics bag in the back, and I do have a lot of ice in there. Being that I'm gonna be fishing and staying overnight, and probably not getting home until tomorrow afternoon. I'll let him go today and um, see if I can get my eating fish tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm happy at least I caught something because so far it's been a bit ordinary. Let's get another bait out. Ooh, good fish, happy. Oh, the hits are coming thick and fast. That was a good hit then too. Missed it. Ah, oh, I gotta check my bait because it might not be any left. It feels like there's a bait on there, but you can't fish with a half sucked piece of bait. Yeah, it's still on, it's all good. Oh, wasn't that bird, was it? Nah. I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's fish a cast now. That wasn't, oh crikey, that had only just, that wasn't even in the water for like a minute. I was on the sink. Oh, another heavy fish. I've just got fingers on the spool and, oh, you gotta know when to let go though. I'm really liking this new braid I've got here. I think I've talked about it before. I've just got a lot of confidence in it, eh? It just feels really strong. This new Berkeley X 12 carrier. I'm not sponsored by Berkeley, got nothing to do with them, but I really like this braid and I've just got a lot of confidence in it. It's really strong. And I've got confidence to stick my fingers on the spool and like lay into a fish. Oh, this is another heavy fish. Oh, again, starting to get unsnapper like all of a sudden. The more they, oh, crikey. Yeah, another good fish. I feel like this could be another king. By the way, it's going. Not the target species, but fun all the same. Um, if I wasn't, if it wasn't so dark, I'd get my bloody stick bait out and see if I could get one on stick bait. It's probably still all right. I could probably still do it in the dark as well. I wonder if I should try. Let's worry about the problem at hand first, Scott. Getting carried away. Oh wow, 
such a powerful fish. Still haven't even seen it yet. Oh, there it is. Saw some colour. Not enough to tell what it was. But I'm pretty confident it's not a snapper. Ain't no snapper go this hard. Or if it is, it's a really big one. Yeah, that's another kingy boy. Oh my lord! Just out of reach. Got him. Free spool. Every bait's just getting slammed by kings on the way down now. There you go, another little king boy. Beautiful little torpedo, such a, just solid, solid muscle kings. Awesome fish, he can go back again. Let's get a bait out, I'm determined. I've got to get myself a snapper. I reckon I've got about five to 10 minutes of sunlight left, and then it's all overseas for Scott. It's all over, because I can't film in the dark. This wind really doesn't feel like it's dropping. It feels like I might have dropped a little, but I don't feel like it's dropping enough. Oh, hang on. Oh, Lord. My other GoPro went flat. I was just changing the battery, and then this one's hooked up again. Oh, I've got a funny feeling. This is not going to be a Scott Catcher snapper session. Oh, what's this? This one actually feels a bit different. Oh, I was just changing my battery over. I missed that hit. That was a really good hit. Oh, no, here it goes again. to the kingfish zone. Let's see what I'm going to do. Let me stick this in here for a second. The GoPro, I just about had the battery in and it wasn't far off, so I just took a quick stall there, put that in. Oh, and I'll carry on with this. Again, I'm thinking not a snapper. But you just never know. I've caught some pretty big snapper that fight pretty hard in the times I'm called them for not snapper. Oh wow! There's just the sheer power of these things. They're like nothing else. They really, really put in. There he is. I can't see what he is yet. I just see a bit of silver down there. Yeah, it's another king. Well, he doesn't like the net and I never even showed it to him.
got him. Oh. There he is, little king boy. Kingdom of the Kings. Oh, another one, he can go back. See ya, bud. All right, I'm retiring this. All right, it's got dark pretty much. It's almost too dark to film anyway. Hang on, I'll come around this side. It's got too dark to film. Doesn't look like I'm getting the snapper I came for, but those Kings were super fun. I got about, I don't know, 45 minutes to steam back to where I've launched back to the beach, so. I'm going to steam back there. If in the meantime the wind drops out, I'll find somewhere to camp. But otherwise, I'm going to put the boat back on the trailer and um, sleep the night in the cabin. And I'll be back out here in the morning and getting back into it. So, um, time to cruise while I can still kind of half see where I'm going. I'm not super familiar with the waters here. So, um, I'll cruise while I can still kind of see where I'm going and um, see what it looks like when I get in a bit closer. Stay with me. Ooh, I'm popping after those kings. They've certainly done a number on me. Yeah. Uh, this sausage roll has gone really cold and it's all congealed, the fat. Not very good at all, but I'm eating it. Um, good part is I get to punch in. Uh, let me finish my mouthful of food. The awesome part is I get to punch straight back into this southerly to get back where I'm going. So um, luckily this boat's pretty solid and can handle a bit of chop, so it shouldn't be too bad. Sun's going down. Anyway, I'll talk to you all guys back when I get sorted out and back where it's not moving. All right, full disclosure. I could have faked it. I could have pretended I slept on the boat last night. I didn't. I made the decision. I went home. Um, I had a comfortable night's sleep in my own bed. And I got back up again this morning at half past four and I've done a few miles this morning. I'm not gonna lie in the car and in the boat. I've done a few miles, but I'm basically now where I'd planned on camping last night that um, I just sort of piked out on in the end because the wind just wouldn't let me. So I'm back where I was. So now the plan is um, I'm gonna head out a little bit, find a bit of ground to sit on, and as the sun comes up, I think I've probably still got about another 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 till the sun starts coming up. And um, I'm gonna fish and see if I can't get myself a couple of snapper on the sunrise. Um, something to eat. I'd really like a jewfish. That's my ultimate goal. We'll see how we go. I've got a new rod here I want to try out with a, um, one of my snap baits and see if I can't get a jewfish. And if I get something in the esky for my um, dinner, then I'm going to head out and try and get some more kingfish, but this time in one of those more dynamic reef sort of zones. So stay with me. I'm going to head out and um, get it done, hopefully. Um, one of the bonuses of sleeping in bed was A, it was warm, because bloody hell, it's freezing out here this morning, and B, I got a hot coffee when I woke up this morning, so I don't have to wake up to a, a bloody iced coffee for my breakfast. Um, I did, in the in the name of the game, I did live on sausage roll and um, cream donut last night. So that was my dinner last night, much to my wife's disgust. But um, they'd already eaten by the time I got home. So I've got a hot coffee and I'm gonna head out and catch the sunrise and see if we can't get a fish on. Send it, you! Wow, look at this, I just Pulled, I just slowed down and straight away I've slowed down right on that. Look at that big school of bait. Oh, wow, can't ask for much better than that. All I did was come straight out to this ledge here. As I, as I sounded over the top of it, I, I didn't even sound over it. I just slowed down and bang, that bait appeared. Um, straight away I scroll back on the sounder. The beauty of this sounder is even as you drive over something, you can scroll back on the sounder, mark it, and then put a um, waypoint on top of it. So that's exactly what I did. I scrolled over it. Well, after I showed you guys on the camera, I scroll back, put a waypoint right on top of it, and now I'm parked right on it. And how's the school of bait? All right, let's hope that's a good sign and we can get something on here. Um, time to get some baits in the water. Rightio, first bait, let's get it done. Oh, you might notice I've gone back to the mustard big reds here. Um, I have been trying circle hawks, but I haven't been super impressed with them lately. So um, I've only got a couple left and I just grabbed the mustard big red last night in a hurry when I was trying to re-rig. First bait, let's go to drop this sakana down to the bottom. Got a sakana jig here. There's a few good marks on the sounder, so I'll drop this sakana down. 
I'm going to drop this down on this new um, endorphin rod. Oh, hang on, I'm getting some hits on that rod there now. Oh, Jesus, Scott. This always has to happen, doesn't it? Uh. Righto, and now I'm in. It's not huge, but I feel like it could be a snapper. Certainly not the one I came for. But it's a start. I um, mean, yeah, the new endorphin rod, it's a PE 1.5 to two six foot oh it's a giant snookosaurus well that's not what i was hoping for okay that's all right he got off anyway i'm happy with that see you mate they're my nemesis um yeah beautiful beautiful ride perfect for dropping these snap baits down um you guys know i like to fish these light this is a 60 gram Sakana. I like to fish the lighter jigs um, at anchor like this. Just This is just my style, this is how I like to do it. And this rod feels perfect for this sort of stuff. Oh, are you serious? I'll just hook the bottom like first drop. I oh, know, there it is. Crikey. And I'll just stick that in that side holder like that. Look at that, that's in already. That's already got a fish on. Look at that, it only just got to the bottom. Wow. Snap baits, man. Every time I drop a Sakana to the bottom, it's literally this simple, guys. And I reckon this is a Jewfish, too. Ah, oh, the new rod's feeling nice. Um, I've got another few turns of drag on this reel. But I'm not going to worry about it because I feel like I've got this guy's number and I don't want to go too crazy on him. He says, as the fish heads for the reef. Oh, he's in the rocks. I think I just got him out. I'm going to go another quarter of a turn here. It's a good fish. It's heavy. This rod feels like it's got heaps of power. Oh, I feel like this guy's... He's heavy in the rocks there, eh? I think I just got him out. Oh, and now he's angry because he didn't want to come out. Yeah, I could turn this up a little bit more and skull drag him, but I'm happy just to take my time with him like this. Oh, wow. It's a good fish. Like, I'm not light, light on the drag. Here he comes. This will be a Jew fish. He says, as it probably is a snapper. Oh no, it's a Jewy, I was right. I just gotta net him. And this is pretty much job done for me. In he goes. There you go. Beautiful West Australian Jewfish on the little Sakana jig and the new endorphin rod. Doesn't get much better than that. First fish of the morning. I've only been here like probably 15 minutes. And there you go, dinner served. Exactly what I came for. Um, this guy can go straight onto ice. And now I'm gonna concentrate on getting some snapper. There you go, my little Sakana jig. <laughs> It's almost cheating, eh? It's just not fair. It's almost too easy sometimes with these little Sakanas. Um, just the lightweight Sakana, just the way they dance. Jewies just love them. Now, let's check this bait, because what I really came for was snap up. And so far, they've just been nothing but quiet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, be big, be big, be big. Oh, 
lights up on the surface. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a snookosaurus. Look at it splashing around on the surface. It's a snook that thinks it's a sailfish. It's actually quite heavy. It must be a big one. Oh, it's just busting me off. Oh, wow. I just got a quick look at that. I didn't think that was a snook. That looked like some kind of a mackerel of some sort. That looked like a little buddy school mackerel or something. I just got a real quick look at it then. Okay, that's cool. Just snipped me off because they got teeth. They got tootie pegs. Wow, the line's all chafed up. The line is very shredded from where those, whatever that was, had teeth, that's for sure. It, it looked like a little mackerel. I only just got a real quick look at it. I thought it felt a bit too heavy for a snook, but the way it was splashed around on the surface. Anyway, let's get another one back out. Another half a scaly. Ping that out. Let's drop my old friend the snap bait to the bottom again. just got punished look at that straight in again oh it seems like all the fish are sitting right underneath the boat today oh here we go what's this one this is something different Don't go to the anchor rope, please. Well, I'm liking this ride, it's got plenty of power. Oh! It's probably better suited to the heavier end of the scale. 1.5 to P3 is probably better suited to it. It's probably a little on the heavy side for 1.5, but got power oh this is a bomber of a pink snapper this is a good pinky there you go beautiful pink snapper he's probably 60 odd Yeah, 65 centimetres. Because um, I've got that Jewfish, this guy can go back. He seems like he's pretty lively. So I'm going to put this guy back. I'll just get that. Look at the Sakana. Again, it just got to the bottom and smacko straight away. If you want Sakana jigs, um, a link down below on the Snapbait website. 15% off if you use Soulfix15 on the discount code box. Um, I'll put a link down below. And this guy can swim, he'll be fine, I reckon. He wants to go. Yep, he's gone. See ya, mate. Wow. Oh. I don't know, back to the business at hand. Let's drop this down. on the bottom I wind it up a turn and I'm in it's that simple oh fishing can be so frustrating some days it's so hard and then other days it's just easy sometimes it's almost too easy 
all of this, I can tell you right now, everything that you're seeing going on here today is about that bait that I sounded over when I first rocked up here. I was just super lucky. I came across a school of bait. If you find a school of bait, nine times out of 10, there's gonna be fish feeding on it or nearby it. This is a little dew fish. Look at that guy. Beautiful little fish. With a sakana in his mouth there. A little stripey boy. He is 52 centimeters. He can go back, this guy. Oh, I've decided I'm gonna move. I know it seems stupid to leave fish on the bite and go somewhere else, but I'm gonna move. I've caught what I needed. I've got that dew fish, which I'm happy with. I've released a couple of other fish. Now I'm gonna move in. This easterly, you can see. I don't know, the GoPro never really shows it, but it's proper white capping and just typical basically crap. Um, the plan I had was to go looking for kingfish out on the reef. I don't know if you can see it, it's out there um, in the white water, but this easily is just gonna make it really hard and dangerous as well, because the wind's blowing me one way, the swells are coming the other way, and I just know it's gonna be slop and not very nice out there. So I'm gonna head in closer to the beach and um, just see if I can find some more ground. Just um, yeah, I just drive along until I see a lump that looks good, stop on it and drop a few. I'm going to, I'll drop the vibe and see how we go or maybe put the um, Sakana back on and drop a few Sakanas around and just see what I can pick up in close. But happy, got the fish I'm after. Let's go and do something else and change it up a bit. All right, I've just marked a little lump. I just drove in real, I was just sort of cruising really slowly and I've just marked a little lump. Um, I'll show you how I get onto it. There wasn't much, it was just like a little bit of fluff. That's it there, I marked it, I drove over it, marked it, and now I'm just gonna go back. I've just made sure I got rigged up with a bait and everything. Got my Sakana on and I'm ready to drop because it's really small and I'm not gonna get to stay on it for long. Let's just see. Oh, here it is here. So it's really not much. That's literally it right there. I'm gonna drop real quickly. Um, I'm not sure which way the boat's gonna drift here. Um, look how close to the beach I am here. I'm just gonna drop on this and just see what happens. Oh, the boat's gonna drift that way, okay. I think I sort of just went off it then. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Uh, it's not really happening in here, but I don't care. I had a great time um, all up. Last night was amazing catching those kingfish. I didn't get the snapper I was after, but those kings were just nuts. Um, bloody hell, I was my arms were hurting after catching three of those. This morning, I come out. I didn't sleep out in the boat as planned. That wind just never stopped last night, and when it did, it spun around to the east and then started whipping from the east straight away anyway. So it would have been an uncomfortable night's sleep at best. I mean, I'm nice and comfortable in the cabin there, out of out of the wind, and um, but the boat just rocking like that, and the water slapping against the hull, it's noisy. It would have been a shit sleep. So as it was, I was pretty happy. I went home. I was still out here for the sunrise anyway. I got that beautiful dew fish for dinner. That's probably two two meals for my family. So I'm stoked with that. A couple of other fish. Um, the bloody snap bait that was on fire this morning. The sakana, I could that could just do no wrong. Anyway, I've had a great time all up anyway, and. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say I slept in the boat and um, bullshit to everyone because that's not what I'm about. If I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I'm not gonna do the YouTube thing and pretend or fake it. So if you like our videos, stay tuned everyone and I'll see you guys in the next episode and hopefully soon I'll get that break in the weather I'm looking for and I'll sleep out the night and um, I've got plans to um, actually track a bit further from where I am here. I don't know, I'll keep doing it. If I get the right window, I'll be out there. If you like our videos, stay tuned and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Yew!